So much writing. Okay. Yeah, of course. I'm gonna blur my face, right? I always put a little heart over the eye. Oh, I should probably get you a chair. That would be smart. Okay. Same one you were already on. That way you're used to it. It already has your shape in it. I think I should put it here because I feel like this is good, perfect bird's eye view of my workstation. And this is my workstation. And I know it might not seem like much, but do you need more light? I put this light here because in case, you know, it goes to three different levels. I think that'd be good. Do I just get started? Okay. Well, I guess I should start by showing you everything. I went out and bought new makeup just because I've never been in the documentary before and I didn't want to look like I had old makeup. So I got new makeup. Um, I got white, got red and blue, and I have this, which is the collar that I wear around my neck. This is the infamous one. This is the one I was wearing when it came out on the news. Um, I think this was actually the one I wore for my very first sighting as well, so it means a lot to me, and I thought it would be cool if I wore this one tonight as well. Um, yeah, this is a good one. See, it just goes like that. It's really cute. Um, I also have these two, I don't know how significant this is, but two hair ties for my uh, famous two tail look. And my good luck charm, which is the nose. And I keep it in a little bag because this nose has been with me since the very beginning. And I consider it a good luck charm. And I don't know, I felt like if I didn't have this one, then something would go terribly wrong. So yeah, that's why I love it so much. I keep it in this bag, like I said. So you're not going to ask me any questions. Okay. Well, do you want to see my dress? Hold on. This is also the famous dress. What I decided to do for you is wear everything that I'm most known for um, and wear the traditional look so that way it would be recognizable. Let me show you the stockings too. Now I had to go out and buy new ones of these. I also, like I said, I'm keeping it um, to what I'm famous for. So I have the red and the purple. Um, I get dressed last, so I guess you'll see that. Now it's just time for makeup. Am I doing okay? I feel a little nervous. Okay. Um, yeah, well, I guess I'll just get started. Is it okay if my back's gonna be turned toward you sometimes? Okay. Okay, well then, let's just start. <laughs> start by opening this, I guess. I don't have to like narrate everything, do I? No? Okay. Oh no. Somehow I lost the ability to open stuff and point a camera at me. Okay, now. Well, guess this is not gonna work. Don't you hate when that happens? You're not gonna put this stuff in there, are you? Me struggling with makeup, looking like an amateur. Never been this hard to open before. Um, well, towards the beginning, it used to take me a long time. It would take me about an hour, maybe even more, because I also didn't really know what I was doing. Um, so 
so it does take time, but I feel like once you have it, once you find your technique, then it's a lot faster. And also, my look is very simple, and I like that it's simple because I want to be, you know, I want to be known for my look, but I don't want it to be known because it's a wacky look, you know what I mean? Don't tell me they're all going to be this way. Can we cut this part? You don't see me doing it. Thanks. Okay, so those are the only three colors I'm going to use. Are you filming again? Recording? Okay, I'm going to take my glasses off just a sec. Okay, so... Now is where everything happens, so I guess, I'm sorry if I put my back towards you, but I gotta put my hair up first. So that's just an easy process. Um, I actually came up with this look just on a whim. I didn't know what to do with my hair, and I didn't want to get like a wig with all the colors. So then I thought, well, this is good enough. And people seem to really like it. I read all of the comments online. I know sometimes my fellow um, colleagues say they don't read the comments because they don't want to get influenced by what they say or feel insecure. But for me, I look at it as a good thing. You know, at least people are talking about me. And the one thing that helps me stand out from everyone else is the fact that I have the ponytails and not a wig. So I think forever I will always keep these as my signature. And it's really fast as you can tell. My hair is already set for the night and it's easy to run with or it doesn't get in your face and it's just really like good. <laughs> um, it does sometimes get dangerous. Check this out. Bruises. Cuts. Bruises. Bruises. That's all from last week's sighting. Um, I was standing in a wooded area. It was my first time out there too because I don't like to frequent the same sites. And I... I fell. <laughs> As silly as it sounds, I fell. And um, I actually have this for protection that I take out. It doesn't seem like much, but it's really sharp. And um, I keep it with me because it's really small. And I can just, you know, stab somebody if I need to. Because um, it could get dangerous, especially now that we're on the rise and we're on the news all the time. So I have to protect myself. But it's really fun and it's hardly ever dangerous because usually people, when they see me, they just run. But um, here we go. Here goes nothing. A lot of people use actual um, makeup sponges, but I don't like to use that. I like to just use my hand. until I get to the location, but now that I'm ready, hang on, let me turn this off, it's probably loud. Okay, now that I'm ready, we're gonna go out there. We're gonna, I already found a location. It's gonna be a wooded area, but a lot of people go passing through that area, so they'll see me. I'll stand there and just wait for them to pass and hopefully scare some people, and you can document it. And hopefully it'll be a good night. Hopefully we make it on the news. Hopefully someone snaps a picture. Hopefully someone takes a video or something and we can end up on the news tonight. So, 
yeah, let's, I guess, let's get out there. But first I have to make sure that I conceal my identity and hide myself because the people that rented me the room know my real name and I'm supposed to just be Ariel the Clown. So I need to, yeah, get like a big jacket or something. You'll see when we go. But I guess stop it now and then you can show me when we get to the car. Okay. So I usually go out with a hood like this, and then when I walk out, I just walk out with my head down. Because if they knew that this Ariel was Ariel the Clown, then I may have... Like I said, it would be unsafe, um, and there would, go, there would be my entire livelihood as a clown that does sightings. And maybe I wouldn't be on the news anymore. I'd be on the news, but with my actual face, and that's not good. So I usually just go out like this, and then like I said, I put the hood on. They don't see my face, and when I walk out, I'll just walk down like this. And I usually take a shot beforehand, so if you want one, let me know. Oh yeah, sure, go ahead. That's fine. I'll make it while you're waiting. You like vodka, right? It's the best one they have. Just in time. I hope you like blue. Cheers. Mm, it's kind of hard to take down. Alright, let's go. Okay, you ready? Don't be nervous. Let's go. I should probably warn you. There are rules to clown sightings. Number one, don't talk. Number two, don't stand anywhere near me. Once we get off of this car, I don't know you. And three, which is the most important, if something were to happen, don't try and save me, because you'll ruin everything. Do you understand? Seatbelt. I was more nervous to do your little documentary. I never get nervous on a sighting. It's called adrenaline, Nick. And it's wonderful. You know, you're very interesting to me. Really interesting. I can sense your hunger. But I could also sense your desperation. And desperation is a very bad thing, Nick. It really is. It can put you into bad situations. Like this one. <laughs> I'm not gonna explain it to you, Nick. 
I don't have the time, frankly. But you're very interesting. Because you're a liar. Uh, please don't talk while I'm talking. You're a liar, Nick. That's fine. Everybody does it. You told me that you were going to do a documentary on the clown sightings. And you somehow found me. You found my real identity. You said you were going to do a documentary on me and that you would blur my face as well as my fellow clowns' faces. You told me that on the phone, that was the first lie. And then this evening in my room, you lied to me again before I signed the release form. But I read the release form, Nick. And it said that no faces would be blurred, so you lied. You know what I think? I think you want to ruin us. I think you want to exploit us. Expose us. You're a very bad person, Nick. But that's okay. Don't bother trying to open the door. It's locked now. Only I can unlock it. I hope you don't mind, Nick, but I'm going to take you somewhere. Before we actually do the sighting. Oh, don't be scared. I'm not a bad person, Nick. I'm not like you. Sure. I go around scaring people for fun, but I'm not really scaring them. Their own fears are scaring them. Clowns are supposed to be happy things, Nick. They're supposed to be at parties where people have fun. But then somehow everything changed and now people are scared of clowns, but why? Why? You're going to like the place we're going to today. It's a forest type place. There's always hikers. Doesn't matter what time. We'll stand in the middle. Well, not you, me. I'll stand in the middle. And hope that they get scared. Hopefully I make it onto the news by the morning. You know, Nick? There's something I have to tell you. And you're not gonna like it, but I am an honest person. That's the thing about me, Nick, I don't lie. I'm not like you. I don't know how to say this, Nick. And I didn't wanna do this, but I had to. When I found out you were lying to me, I I just couldn't. I can't handle liars. It's one of my pet peeves. So I slipped something into your drink this afternoon. This evening. Right before we were going to leave. It's okay, Nick. Don't be scared. Nothing's going to happen to you. It's okay. 